This is in Eco July 2022 General Mathematics Paper 2, and we are answering question number 9. And that question reads uh, two towns A and B are on the same longitude, and that longitude is 25 degrees east. And those two, two towns A and B, one of them is on latitude 65 degree north, and the other one is on latitude 80 degree south, respectively. That is, A is on the latitude 65 north while town B is on the latitude 80 degrees south. Another town C is on the same latitude as town B, but that town C is on longitude 45 degrees west. So the question asked here is A and B. So question number A says you have to calculate the shortest distance between town A and town B along the meridian, that is along the same longitude. And that your answer would now be given correct to the nearest uh, thousand kilometer. The second question, that is question number B, asks to find the shortest distance between town B and town C. And that distance will now be calculated along the, their parallel of latitude, that is along their same latitude. And you have to ground your answer correct to the nearest uh, 10 kilometers. So let's attempt to answer this very question together. What you do first to answer this question on longitude and latitude, you have to now interpret or change all the statements into drawing. So first you now draw a very large cycle to represent your earth. This is the very large cycle that represented the earth because these two towns are on the earth's surface. So first you now have A and B on this longitude 25 degree east. So let me draw that longitude first. So that longitude will now look like this, 25 degree east. Town A is on the latitude 65 north. 65 north, I will now draw that latitude so that I can now locate the position of town A. So this is 65 north, so this will now be town A. Town A is where it is on latitude 65 and longitude 25 east, where the latitude and the longitude crosses each other. That will be the location of town A. Now move to town B. Town B is on the latitude 80 degrees south. 80 degrees south latitude will now be drawn somewhere here. The latitude 80 degrees south, look at it. So where that latitude crosses longitude 25 is, that will now be the position of town B. So next is to locate town C. Town C and Town B have same latitude, which means Town C is on latitude 80 degrees south. But that Town C has longitude 45 west, 45 degrees west. So let me draw that longitude of Town C. 45 west should be by this left. This is the longitude, the longitude 45 degrees west, and the where it crosses latitude 80 south. That will be the location of uh, Town C. So all the three towns were now appropriately, appropriately positioned on our drawing here that represented the outer surface. So let's just move and attempt to answer the two questions. The first question, the distance between A and B town, A and town B that happens to be on the same longitude 25 degree east. Let me just find it. So town A, the distance between A and B, this Distance would now be nothing but just uh, the length of this arc AB. Arc AB would just be part of the circumference of this longitude 25 degree east, and that arc will now subtend an angle theta at the center of the earth, and uh, that longitude uh, will now have radius equals to radius of the earth, so you have capital R. So you now write the formula for finding length of arc, which now denotes the length between the two towns A and B. So the formula for length of arc, remember, is theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi the radius of the earth. So what remains is to determine what will be your theta, what will be your r, what will be your pi, and substitute appropriately. In. So the theta will now be difference in their latitude. Because uh, this is 65 north, this is 80 south, so the two towns are on a different hemispheres. If that is the case, we now add their latitude to get this very theta. So addition of 65 and 80 will give this theta. 
if that addition is done correctly, you have 145 as your theta multiplied by 2, multiplied by pi, which is 22 over 7, multiplied by 6,400 kilometers. That is the radius of the Earth. So multiplying this correctly will give answer 16,230. But this question asked to round our distance to nearest 1,000 kilometers. So look at that 16,230 kilometers. If rounded to nearest 1,000 kilometers, gives answer 16,000 kilometers only. So this would not be the distance between town A and town B to the nearest 1,000 kilometers. So I move to question number B to find the distance between town B and town C along this parallel of latitude. So the distance BC, which will now be length of this arc, and this arc now subtend an angle theta at the center of this very latitude. And this latitude has a radius small letter r. So now write the formula for finding length of arc, which is usually theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi radius of that very cycle. In this case, it is small letter r because it is a latitude. It is longitude that has a radius equals to radius of the earth. But we don't have this radius of this latitude 80 degrees south, so we can now write uh, an expression for it in terms of radius of the earth, which is usually, usually radius of the earth cos alpha, where alpha is the angle of that very latitude. So small r is now replaced by capital R cos alpha. Alpha, I repeat, is the radius of the latitude, while capital R is the radius of the earth because this is what you usually given in the question radius of the earth. So now substitute theta pi r and this alpha in this very formula correctly. So starting with the theta, the theta will now be difference in their longitude. The longitude of B is 25 east, while the longitude of C is 45 west. The two are on different hemispheres, east, west. So what you now do to find the theta, you now add, add their longitude. So this 25 degrees plus this 45 degrees is what will give us this the theta. So substituting the theta, we now have 70. That is 25 plus 45 is 70. Divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi, 22 over 7. Multiplied by radius of the 6,400 multiplied by cos 80. 80 is now angle of that very latitude. So next is to find what will now be this result. So course 80, you find it multiplied by 6,400 kilometers, multiplied by 22 over 7, multiplied by 2, multiplied by this 70 over 360. If that is done correctly, you now have 1,358 kilometers. And we are asked to give this very answer to the nearest 10 kilometer. So let's round this value to nearest 10 kilometer. Nearest 10 kilometer, we look at the last digit, that is the unit digit, is 8. So we add this 1 to 5, so it becomes 6. So you now have 1,360 kilometers. This will now be the distance between town B and town C along their latitude. So let me just share with you. The mark for this uh, for this very question that is the mark distribution as it is contained in the marking scheme. So the very first mark is bonus three marks. Bonus three marks is for changing or interpreting all the statements there into drawing. You have this very three marks, but you have to locate all the positions of E, B, and C correctly for us to get this three marks. Anyone that is wrong minus half. So next mark is another bonus one mark, and this bonus one mark is for getting the angle theta. That is the difference in latitude between town A and town B in your attempt to get the distance AB. That angle theta, that gives you this bonus one mark. And when you now substitute your theta, you are correctly in this formula for finding the distance AB correctly, you have this method one mark. Next mark is if you have... Uh, you now simplify this to get 16,230. You have this accuracy one mark. And when you now round the, the, this value to nearest 1,000 kilometer and you have 16,000 kilometers correctly, you have this accuracy one mark. 
So this question number nine, A has a seven good marks. Move to question nine B. The very first mark there is bonus one mark. For getting a theta 70, that is the difference in longitude in attempt to find the distance between B and C, this very theta. When you have it at 70 degrees, you have this bonus one mark. And next to marker is rewriting your R, that is the radius of the latitude in terms of a capital R, and you have 6,400 course 80. This expression gives you this bonus one mark. And this method one mark is when you now substitute your theta, your pi, and your R and cos alpha correctly, you have this method one mark. When you now find the value of this as 1358 correctly, you have this accuracy one mark. And when you now rounded this value to nearest nearest 10 kilometer, you have 1360 exactly. That gives you this accuracy one mark. So question number 9b are five good marks.